This is your Cybersecurity Weekly News Roundup from Sentinel One. The U.S. Department of Justice has been busy this past week sentencing two individuals to long prison terms for their cyber crimes. Ryan S. Hernandez, aka Ryan West or Ryan Rocks, was sentenced to three years in prison for spearfishing a Nintendo employee, stealing his credentials and downloading confidential files such as the then much anticipated Nintendo Switch console, which he shared in gaming forums. Hernandez will be joined in clink by another individual named Timothy Dalton Vaughn, aka Wanted by Feds and Hacker R Us. Vaughn was a member of the Apophis Squad, a worldwide collective of computer hackers and swatters. They issued bomb-related threats via phone calls and engaged in DDoS attacks and extortion. Vaughn was sentenced to nearly eight years in federal prison for his crimes. Security researchers at IBM have released findings concerning a malicious cyber campaign aimed at attacking a COVID-19 cold storage supply chain. The campaign started in September and targeted Hare Biomedical, a company that manufactures cold chain storage equipment. Phishing emails purporting to be from a Hare employee were sent to the European Commission's Directorate General for Taxation and Customs Union, as well as multiple other organizations. While the perpetrators of the campaign are still unknown, it appears that someone wants to disrupt the global effort to develop and distribute vaccines. Interpol's Cybercrime Unit has revealed 3,000 websites associated with online pharmacies suspected of selling illicit medicines and medical devices, more than half of which contain cyber threats, especially phishing and spamming malware. Brazilian newspaper Estado reports that the private health information of more than 243 million Brazilians has been exposed online for at least six months. The data leak came from an official web portal of the Brazilian Ministry of Health, where citizens can sign up to receive notifications about the COVID-19 pandemic. The site's source code contained an administrator username and password that enabled access to the Brazilian Ministry of Health database. The Egregor ransomware gang was very busy last week, infecting Kmart department stores, Vancouver Metro, and Randstad, the world's largest staffing company. Randstad, which employs over 38,000 in 38 countries, states that only a limited number of servers were impacted and that their network and business operations continued without disruption. That concludes this week's news roundup from Sentinel One. Tune in next week and stay safe out there.